migrated here in 1966 from England and uh, met my wife Joanne actually just a couple of months later. So that was quite a long time ago. And we've been traveling ever since, going to living in South America, in Israel, in, in Greece, in just uh, an awful lot of countries. Today I'm in my studio in Vancouver and uh, basically it's, uh, it's a lot of light looking out on the ocean so it's, it has the uh, wow. compatibility of uh, essence of lighting, subject matter is, is easy to think about when I've got a view like this. Um, space isn't that important, I can paint in the back of a car or in the back of a, a truck, that won't change anything because my ideas are inside of me so I don't really need to have an environment that's uh, conducive to it, you know. The key things I need to, to be able to paint every day, of course, is equipment. So I need like uh, hundreds of feet of canvas every month. <laughs> and I, so that doesn't waste my time. I just have it chipped in and I, I can start painting straight away. So I need lots of wood, stretcher bars, paints. I go through thousands of dollars worth of paint every month. So the equipment is very important. Uh, maybe uh, sometimes if I'm using a study, uh, I, I'll need maybe a photograph or something, but that's why the iPad is great because I can, I can put all my information on there and I can, I can pick on it and blow it up. And so it, it cuts down all the, uh, the, the, the work, really the workload. And it's the same when you're actually, you know, dealing with a client who wants a painting, you know, nowadays, you know, they just tell you what they want. I can, they can send me a photograph of an idea. I can paint it and send it out the next day or the next week. It's so fast. Usually, years ago, it used to be, you know, weeks of, of sending information backwards and forwards. Now, everything's, for, the facilities are amazing, you know, for speed, you know. I have so many techniques to begin with. So in one day, I could maybe use three or four techniques each style or technique it needs a different type of discipline so therefore if you're doing something that's very detailed it would take a lot longer so it takes a different technique than one that would be a fast spontaneous abstract which you'd use maybe a, a palette knife or, or brushes large brushes so it just takes different different effects um, the message I never think about the message till the end <laughs> I may not even know what the message is till I'm halfway through the painting. So it depends, you know, that's the last thing I think about. It's like signing a painting. I never think about signing the painting. Sometimes we sell them and I forget to sign them and I have to get them back to sign them again. Knowing when a painting is finished, that's a hard one. <laughs> I, I don't think anybody really knows. It's, uh, to me, I always figure it's best to stop before it's finished. Just before you think it's finished is probably the best time to stop. My wife usually tells me when it's finished, so I, I listen to her. <laughs> she stands behind me saying, stop. <laughs> and if I don't stop, she'll come back later and say, you've ruined it. <laughs> so actually, uh, the end is, is hard to figure out. But I usually now, I, after many years of painting, you do get a feeling of when you should stop. You know, it's, it's, a, it's almost an instinctive thing, you know. A lot of the different techniques I work with are, are acrylic. Um, the plexiglass style that I do, I used to work with enamels. Now I'm, I'm finding some new, uh, new acrylic sprays that are really good and good quality. So I've been working, maybe developing it into more of a contemporary style. And so that will be exhibited at the exhibition in Vancouver coming up. Lucky to be an artist, lucky to wake up every morning and just want to start painting every day the same for as long as I can. and. Uh, the one thing about painting is you never get tired. So I only get tired when I stop painting. So that's basically how lucky you can be in, a, in life to have something you're doing that you, uh, is your passion.